And now to our series Manners on the Move today. We're taking a closer look at civility across America. Uh, we need to this morning. Mr. Manners, Thomas Farley, is getting a little bit neighborly. Thomas, good morning. <laughs> nice morning, to see you. Morning. 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 You're ready? <laughs> we are ready. Yes, we certainly are. So good morning. And today we're heading to Austin, Texas, one of America's fastest growing cities. Now, the rising population there is really putting Southern hospitality to the test. But we met one woman who is turning the tables on the barriers that set us apart. When did our neighborhoods get filled with strangers? When did we get too busy to get to know people living right next door? Kristen Schell is raising four children in Austin, Texas, but found little communing in her community. What I was noticing was that we would wave, you know, and give a friendly hi, but then garage doors would go up and garage doors would go down and people would disappear inside. So she did something drastic. She painted a picnic table turquoise and put it in her front yard. It was this hypothesis. What if we were to move our ordinary activities, things we were already doing, but we were to move them in the front yard and just live in a more visible way? People were curious. Pretty soon, the neighbors who came over to ask about the table were asking to put tables in their own front yards. You can see them on the lawns all across our neighborhood. From there, it became a movement of front yard people, which she documents in her new book. Kristen says there are now thousands of turquoise tables across 40 states. Kristen may be onto something. In the most recent Pew polls, only about four in 10 Americans say they know most or all of their neighbors. And fewer than five in 10 say they trust them. So we put Kristen's idea to the test to see if we could start a conversation about manners by setting up a table at a busy outdoor market. Yeah, I think the past like five houses I've lived at haven't known my neighbors. You know about half of your neighbors by name, is that? Probably, yeah, that would be about right. And the other half, you just don't Well, with them? you know, wave too, but I don't really know them. There seems to be a disconnect. Many blame our connection to our devices and social media. People are just buried in uh, communicating through their phones and their computers as opposed to hanging out on their front porch and letting the kids just run around outside. The step past social media is like we're having a conversation right now face to face. How do we start a movement in getting people to bring back that sense of community once again? Is it possible? Oh, I think it's possible. I think it's probable. It seems like there's so much polarity from different groups or different views in the U.S. right now. And to me, all that means is it eventually it's gonna come back together. But some see technology as a tool to keep the peace. We have each other's numbers. We can send each other messages and say, hey, the party's getting a little bit too loud and my kids are, are trying to go to sleep. Can we turn the music down? But it can also lead to confusion. We misinterpret what's being told to us, what's being written, because there's no body language. There's no inflection. You could kid with me on an email and I could take offense to it, but if you kid with me face to face, I can read your body language and know you're okay. We asked if there were any issues where we could help. How do you approach your neighbor and say, by the way, can you please apply some sealant to your side of the fence so our fence doesn't fall down? Something I notice a lot in my conversations with people is they very often don't approach a neighbor about an issue such as this. They keep it inside and they tell their friends, but they never actually approach the neighbor. Mm -hmm. I you're nodding, so I'm guessing this is the case here. Yes. If you can make it a communal activity, buy the sealant together, make a day of it, put the sealant on or hire somebody to do it and share the expense, I think is a nice way of coming together. Good idea, I didn't fence. think about that. Thank you very much. Good fences may make for good neighbors, but maybe a turquoise table can bring them together. We have to take time to slow down and remember that mama was always right. You know, mind your manners. <laughs> and you have some good tips for us. I do, Savannah. So for starters, we want to say be an ambassador for your neighborhood. So don't let five years go by before the people are about to move out before you actually get to know mm -hmm. them. Give them some settling in time, but stop by, exchange contact information. This is a great way for them to be able to reach out to you. Mm -hmm. Second, you want to be visible. So as we saw with Kristen, she's out in her front yard. The kids are playing out there. She's meeting joggers. She's meeting dog walkers. This is the best way to get to know the people. If you're in your backyard all the time, you're never going to get to know your community. Mm -hmm. And then last, gather. So once a year, every six months, organize some sort of get together mm -hmm. for the neighborhood, whether it's a community cleanup. In my neighborhood, they do a tree uh, planting project where people plant tulips, even in New York City. So it doesn't matter where you live, there's still a way of embracing some of these lessons. We do a block party works in our neighborhood, great. Sure. Right yeah. in front. Yep. Kids, families, That's you get a chance cool. to talk, mingle. And I think a lot of people look at their neighbors and say, okay, they spend all their time away from the public in their backyard, so they must want privacy. Maybe they just haven't been invited yeah. to anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Kristen made a list where she said, red house, person with yoga pants, and she 
you realize, I don't know half of these people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let me get to know them. And this is seems the result. Like, it seems like when we were kids, we knew every right. neighbor, oh, yeah. everybody well, That's why I bought us. a drone. Yeah. I fly it over my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I know Tom Tom the invitation. Everybody knows you. Yeah. I know Thomas. too much. Thomas Thank you. Thanks for the very cool stuff. There's more on today.com, including ways you can challenge yourself to be a little bit more civil and keep sharing your stories and also your progress using the hashtag Manners on the Move. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.